Hey everyone, and welcome back to Alpha Nutrition. Today, we're going to talk about HIV and the steps being taken toward finding a cure. As you may know, HIV is a virus that attacks the immune system, making it difficult for the body to fight off infections and diseases. Scientists and researchers around the world are working tirelessly to find a cure for HIV, and there have been some developments in recent years. One of the developments in HIV research is the use of gene editing technology. Scientists are using CRISPR-Cas9 to modify the DNA of HIV-infected cells, essentially deleting the virus from the body. This technology is still in the early stages of development but holds a lot of work for finding a cure for HIV. Scientists were exploring the use of broadly neutralizing antibodies that can target multiple strains of HIV and prevent the virus from infecting new cells. Clinical trials of these antibodies have shown results, and researchers are continuing to explore their potential as a treatment for HIV. By far, the most effective treatment for HIV is antiretroviral therapy ART. It involves taking a combination of medications that work to suppress the virus, reduce the viral load, and keep the immune system healthy. But the problem with ART is that it is a lifelong treatment that requires strict adherence to medication schedules. Missing doses or stopping the medication can lead to the virus becoming resistant to the drugs, making them less effective. One approach being studied is gene therapy, which involves modifying the genetic makeup of a person's cells to make them resistant to HIV. This could potentially lead to a cure by creating an immune system naturally resistant to the virus. The use of broadly neutralizing antibodies, NAVs, which are powerful immune proteins that can recognize and neutralize a wide range of HIV strains. These antibodies could potentially be used to prevent HIV infection or treat those who already have the virus. One study in 2019 reported that a patient in London had been cured of HIV after receiving a bone marrow transplant from a donor with a rare genetic mutation that made them immune to the virus. To sum it up, the search for a cure for HIV is ongoing, and there have been significant advancements in HIV treatment. With the continued efforts of scientists and researchers, there is hope for a potential cure in the future. As mentioned above, one of the approaches to finding a cure for HIV is gene editing. Gene editing technology, such as CRISPR-Cas9, allows scientists to manipulate DNA and remove HIV from infected cells. In the case of HIV, the idea is to use CRISPR-Cas9 to remove the virus from a person's DNA. Scientists are also exploring immune-based therapies to cure HIV. The use of broadly neutralizing antibodies, which are capable of recognizing and attacking multiple strains of HIV. Although gene editing is still in the experimental stage, researchers have made significant progress in using this technology to cure HIV in animal models. A 2019 study found out that researchers at Temple University and the University of Nebraska Medical Center used CRISPR-Cas9 to remove HIV DNA from the genome of live animals. Another is the use of long-acting antiretroviral drugs, ARVs that could replace the need for daily medication. Long-acting ART could potentially reduce the need for daily medication making treatment more convenient and reducing the risk of medication non-adherence. However, long-acting ARVs would only need to be taken once a month or less. One long-acting ARV currently in development is a monthly injection called Cabot Graver. In research, Cabot Graver was found to be 69% more effective at preventing HIV than the current daily pill. If approved, it could revolutionize HIV prevention and treatment. Moreover, one of the most exciting developments in HIV research is the recent success of the London patient. In 2019, it was reported that a London patient had been cured of HIV after receiving a stem cell transplant from a donor with a rare genetic mutation that makes them resistant to the virus. This follows the famous case of the Berlin patient, who was cured of HIV after receiving a similar transplant in 2007. While stem cell transplants are not a practical cure for HIV due to their complexity and high cost, the success of these cases has led researchers to explore alternative methods for achieving a cure. Some researchers are now looking at ways to genetically engineer cells to mimic the rare genetic mutation that makes individuals resistant to HIV. Furthermore, in 2020, a study was published in The Lancet that demonstrated the effectiveness of a long-acting ART injection. That provided protection for up to six months. This breakthrough could potentially revolutionize HIV treatment and bring us one step closer to a cure. With continued investment in research and development, it is possible that we may one day see a cure for HIV. Also, it is important that those living with HIV continue to have access to effective treatments and support. It is crucial to continue promoting education and awareness about HIV prevention and treatment to reduce the stigma and discrimination associated with the virus. 
Henceforward, there is currently no cure for HIV, but significant progress is being made in developing new treatments and therapies that could lead to a cure. It is important to continue supporting research efforts to find a cure for this devastating disease. The fight against HIV has been going on for over 40 years, and significant advances in treatment and prevention have been made. Currently, people living with HIV must take daily medication to keep the virus under control. While there is still much work to be done, the progress made in HIV research over the past few decades is truly remarkable. That concludes our video on the steps being taken toward a cure for HIV. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.